Mark chapter 5, verses 40 to 43. He took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha kum, which means, little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately the girl stood up and began to walk around. She was 12 years old. At this, they were completely astonished. He gave strict orders not to let anyone know about this and told them to give her something to eat. After the mourners had left the house, Jesus went into the room where the dead girl was lying. Her parents, Peter, James, and John, were allowed to go in with him. How do you think the other disciples felt about being left behind? Those emotions can be hard to process. Yet we know we cannot do everything with everyone. That's why it is wise to maintain peace whether you are chosen or not. Upon entering the room, Jesus held the dead child's hand. Once again, this touch made him unclean. Talitha kum, he said, this was not some kind of magical incantation. Jesus was telling the little girl in the local language, Get up! As he spoke, he breathed the breath of life into her. As I reflect on my life, I wonder whether there is any part of me that is like the girl. Things I wanted to do but couldn't. Dreams that once thrilled me, which are now buried in the past. Things I wanted to learn, but I have not yet started. Couldn't those things come to life again with the touch of Jesus and His command to rise? I hear His voice clearly. Get up! The dead girl was raised to life and began to walk around. It was enough to make an onlooker faint. Did she come to life because the dead body listened to the voice of Jesus and obeyed? No. It was because Jesus willfully breathed the breath of life into her. After restoring life to her, Jesus told the family to do two things. One was that they had to keep it a secret. Why? It was for the sake of his redemptive work. If this story had spread around, it could have badly affected the timetable of his mission. Jesus, who taught Solomon, there is time for everything, knew his own timing. I pray that I will have that same wisdom. His second command was for the girl's parents to give her something to eat. I'm sure they had also experienced death and resurrection in their hearts. Still in shock, they were probably unaware, unaware of their child's needs. But Jesus noticed and took care of her. Love does not miss even the smallest thing. This is the same love that counts every hair on our heads. Dear Jesus, thank you for taking care of me. You don't miss even the most trivial concerns, do you?